What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. I've got the NeverSync wind strip tray right here. I've also got Bootstrap Farmer tray. I've used both of these. We're gonna do a comparison of the two, this one versus this one. I'm gonna give you my opinion on each of them and tell you what I think is the best one. So let's jump into it. All right, so jumping around right in to compare these two, I'm gonna first start out with the Bootstrap Farmer tray. Now, I love Bootstrap Farmer. They put out some phenomenal products. And one of those is their cell trays, their starter trays. The other thing I like from Bootstrap is just their regular trays. You can use these for microgreens or to put any tray in when you're bottom watering. But regardless, they put out some great products. Now, this is their 128 cell tray. This is everything's a, you know, a 10, 10 by 20 tray. Um, and, and these work really well. I used to use these for my lettuce starts. Um, I do think 128 is a little bit small personally for, for our farm, for our lettuce starts. I like a little more space um, for some root development. However, these work really great. Um, I think the perk to these are is they're tough. Um, you, you know, obviously if you ran this over, stepped on it, it would break these. But it's much, much thicker plastic than what you're typically going to get you know, with just some cheap stuff that you buy online. Um, and so this is a great company. I really like these, you know, I guess the negative to these is that there's no air pruning. And I'll talk about that here in a minute with the never sink wind strip trays is you don't get the air pruning that you would get um, in the never sink trays. And also the holes are at the bottom are small. And so, you know, I don't really love pulling a plant out of a cell tray just by the stem or by, by the plant. I think it just stresses it. Um, so with these, you know, you've got to pull them from the top. And also, you know, if you can't pull it out very well, you may have to like get, um, you know, a shave down pencil or something to poke them out at the bottom. Um, and so I like these, to be honest though, they're not my favorite. Um, I prefer the Never Sink Wind Strip trays. Now I will say I've got a bunch of these uh, bootstrap trays and these are phenomenal. You really could probably run this thing over with a car. And the same thing with these NeverSync farm trays. They're going to fit perfectly in these trays. They're tough. They're reliable. These should last you literally a lifetime. Um, I mean, it's tough as nails. What I love about these NeverSync trays is not only are they easy to fill up when you're filling them with soil and i did a video in the past on my seed starting mixture it's two ingredients i'll put the link above to that video but when you're filling these up it's super easy you put the soil on top you press it in and then you're on to the next tray and i think that you know i think the ease of use for these makes it something that i love the other thing is you have the air pruning factors that come along with these trays so you know, let's say that you have um, this tray sitting in the greenhouse or, you know, on your grow rack and you need to hold those plants um, in these trays for a while, you can, they won't get root bound. And what happens in trays that don't have the air pruning sections of it in the trays is that they get root bound. The, the roots basically wrap around um, the root ball of the plant. And so that's what I love specifically about the never sink wind strip trays is you get that air pruning effect without doing um, soil blocks, which I am not a fan of soil blocks. Um, I personally love these trays. The other thing that I love about it is you've got a large gap at the bottom. If you can see there, you've got a large gap at the bottom of this. So, so you get really good root development, but also whenever you're ready to pop that plant out and transplant it, all you have to do is you're just sticking your finger in and you press the plant out. So, you know, that's the thing that I didn't like about these is the hole small. And so sometimes getting the plants out of these trays um, can be difficult. So personally, what I love about this is you're basically getting the benefits that you would get with a soil block, which is the air pruning effects. Um, and you're gonna get that in these trays versus a typical tray that where you don't get the air printing effect and so i love that you're getting the air printing not only in the bottom you're getting it on the sides and i think this is just a superior product again this is just my personal opinion and my experience with cells i've used um, the cheap stuff that just falls apart um, i've used the bootstrap trays and then now i've used the never sink trays and personally again i, I don't get paid to tell you this actually i, I i'm an affiliate of bootstrap not an affiliate of never, never sink. So I'm basically telling you, I like these trays more 
and I don't get paid or will benefit in any way by you buying these trays. Um, they're my absolute favorite. And so in my opinion, I think investing in really good trays that are going to last you for 10 plus years and it is a game changer and it's also a time saver and just makes your life much more enjoyable for your garden or for your homestead or your farm, whatever your context is. But if you have any questions whatsoever about these trays or any questions about anything else, comment down below. We'd love to help you. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Happy growing.